All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off this lesson by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chaha Kodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name in the ancient Hebrew. Uh, Raha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well in peace, blessings, mercy, salutations to all you brothers. Carrying your crosses, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, enduring afflictions, doing this work in truth, sincerity, and utmost sincerity. Uh, to the few sisters out there that are subscribed unto this truth, and unto the believers, uh, unto you, hey, a hearty shalom. All right, this is your brother Malaaki from the Great Millstone Camp, the Branch Out in Des Moines, with another lesson. Welcome back. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter two, and verse one. My son, if thou comes to serve the Lord. Prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Okay, um, this is something that's always at the forefront of our minds, that's in the back of our minds, you know. Uh, this is a, a, a scripture that brothers constantly uh, quote, constantly have, meditate on, because we understand that when you come to serve the Lord in truth and sincerity, and partake within this ministry uh, When you strive To keep the laws to the best of your ability To do the things that are pleasing unto the Heavenly Father That affliction comes with it man That there's trials That there's tests All kinds of hell You know uh, Crazy things that brothers Didn't endure Or, or Salaki and I didn't endure But that brothers didn't have to uh, Go through in the world Okay and it seems like it's just thing after thing after thing, you know, and and that's the importance of keeping a positive mindset because it says what? Prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright. We have to set our mind because that word in the Hebrew is love. We have to set our mind aright, set it straight. The book of Isaiah says that he whose mind is stayed upon the Lord, the Lord shall, shall keep him in perfect peace. There's another scripture, I believe it's in the book of Sirach that says, uh, whether a man be poor or rich, if he hath a, a good mind toward the Lord, he shall rejoice in all seasons. So we have to keep our mind focused on the beauty. We have to keep our mind focused on a prize, on the reward that's at the end. Yes, we're catching affliction. Yes, we're going through things and it seems like it's like we can't catch a break. That's good, man. That means the Lord's dealing with us. That means that he's trying us. Uh, 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 and, and ultimately, we're going to get through those things through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But keeping that positive mindset, it's all about perspective. Hey, in this truth, you have to shift your perspective to not focus on the negativity, to not focus on what's at, uh, what's on the plate, so to say, you know. Not what's in front of you at that present moment, but the bigger picture of what's being done. Okay? Make not haste in time of trouble. And we have these scriptures as our counselors, right? It says, cleave unto him. How do we cleave unto the Lord? By cleaving unto this word, by taking heed, by applying these things, by meditating and keeping the words that he hath promised unto us. And constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy latter end. Consider Job. Job, the afflictions and hell that he caught. But at the end, the Lord rewarded him a uh, uh, manifold, man. The scriptures tell us these things, man. All right. And, and not for no reason. Everything has a purpose. St. Luke chapter 18 and verse Twenty nine, uh, twenty twenty eight. Then Peter said, "Lo, we have left all and followed thee." And he saith unto him, "Verily I say unto you, that there is no man which hath left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of the Most High's sake, who will not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting." Okay, so we're gonna lose things here. This is the condition of the battle. This all comes with it. <laughs> it's part of the contract It's part of the deal The deal is You fight for the Lord We lose certain things We get looked at like we're crazy We go out, we prophesy We continue in his labor 
We seek the Lord with all our heart, mind, and soul. And at the end, we get a reward. We get the kingdom of heaven. We get to see Yahweh Shai. We get to reign, uh, uh, be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So there's so much more to come. So that's what we need to focus on. Whatsoever, uh, verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And we want to be those acceptable men in the eyes of our Lord. We want to be accepted. We want to find favor in his eyes. We want to find grace. We want to find mercy. We want to be, uh, uh, we want to please the Lord, right? So if we want to, if we want to do those things, we must be tried. <laughs> All right. Um, and really, this is all the spirit because I wanted I really I wanted a, a, the part over, over down here. Uh, Sirach 2 and 12. <clears throat> Sirach 2 and 12. It says, woe be to fame for uh, Salakia. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? All right. We cannot lose patience within this because that is what Satan is trying to do. When he came to the, uh, you know, the Lord said unto, unto uh, the disciple, he said, uh, he said unto Peter, I believe if I'm not mistaken. He said, lo, Peter, Satan has desired you that he may sift you as wheat. Okay. Uh, he said, but, but, but I've prayed for thee. You know, that that, that that faith fail not, roughly paraphrasing, but that word sift goes into inward agitation to the point of overthrowing one's faith. So we have to have patience within these things because it is very easy to lose patience. It is easy to get flustered and irritated. But that's not the spirit we ought to be in. We cannot lose patience. We have to patiently wait for our Lord. And that word patient goes into suffering so we have to suffer these things we have to endure affliction does not the scripture say endure uh endure uh endure affliction as a good soldier of yahweh shai the scripture says that he that it, he that endure to the end the same shall be saved we have to endure we have to suffer we have to continue to suffer that's the only way we could be joint heirs it says, if so be that ye suffer with him. Right? And a hey, uh you know, because at times, and I caught myself doing this, and this was the basis of the lesson, because within this affliction, within these things, you know, you pray and you cry out to the Lord. And I had asked the Lord, I'm like. I was like, why, Lord, why? I understand that, that, you know, I'm worthy to go through these things, as the scripture says. You know, that I deserve this, that I deserve worse, that I'm punished, punished less than my iniquity deserves, that I'm being tried. I understand all these things. But I was like, why so long? I feel like it's the same thing. And, I, and I'm trying to analyze and see, man, am I slipping up here? Am I doing this? What? And I prayed to the Lord, show me what I'm doing wrong. Show me my faults. You know? But really that mindset of why, why am I doing, why have I been going through this so long? Why is it, why, how long, how long, Lord? But we have to keep that patience because even within that, hey, the Lord showed me that, that, hey, the Lord's right there, man. The Lord's right there. All right. This is, uh, um, Salakia brothers, bear with me. In needful season. So Rock 39 and 33. All the works of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. It's not on our time. It's whenever the Lord says it's time man 
We might be fighting for things. We might be trying to do this, that, and the third. Hey, <laughs> the Lord got us, man. We can't be worried and, and flustered and focused, you know, and give our hearts unto heaviness. The, hey, the scriptures tell us not to do that. We got to keep our eyes in, in the heavens, man. Keep our mind on the kingdom. You know, and the Lord always comes through and he shows you that he's with you, man. Hey, I've, I've been... I've been struggling with, with, you know, certain things and man, I, I was feeling like shit, man, you know what? But the Lord wants to see our faith. The Lord wants to see our faith, man. You know, cause even with the, within all that, I was like, Hey, fuck it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Lord. Got me <laughs> literally every time the flesh would come up, try to worry me about something make me feel overwhelmed. I, hey, I would say to myself, and literally, I would say it out loud sometimes, man, fuck it. The Lord got me. I don't know how. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know the, the way, it, but hey, the Lord got me. <laughs> he promised and his promise is good. The Lord got me, you know? And lo and behold, I receive a nice little letter in the mail and uh, uh, the account little number thing that came with it was uh, hashtag one four 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 man it was yapa and within that letter was a blessing man so hey call hello y'all by shami i was shy you know uh and there was another scripture and i posted this in the group me uh patiently on Uh, Salah, yeah, I'm gonna have to. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to get it. Mm, forgive me, brothers. Psalms 40 and 1. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 1. Psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord Yahweh by Shami Yahweh and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock. He established my goings. The Lord hears us, and we have to remember that. It's the importance of prayer, it's the importance of, of communicating with Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, because He hears us, man. He hears our sufferings, and A, the Lord got everything figured out, brothers, you know. The Lord's going to set us up, A, the Lord got us, baby. Call hello, y'all. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rechach Kodash. Shalom Wa Ababa Bok.